witness is a, of all the five things we should be doing. Witness is probably my worst, and I assume it's one of the worst for everybody else, too. I very seldom give testimony publicly. Every now and then I might do that in some type of service, but I, I generally don't do that. What I, what I try to do is to reflect the value of God and of the church. Witness is a hard one because you think of, I think of going to New York City or San Francisco and seeing some preacher standing, you know, in the middle of a crowd and the crowd trying to, to walk around him and, and not address him. But witness can be so much more subtle and that's the way I'd rather approach it. When I meet new people, oftentimes I will discuss with them or chat with them about if they are um, involved in the church. And if not, ask them if they would like to visit our church, that it's a very special place and that we have, um, and it's a joyful place to be. Um, and that, um, that there are um, wonderful people here who you know are open and loving and caring and it's a great atmosphere to be and I try to share that with them. One of the easiest times for me to talk about the church is when we are singing something special for Christmas or um, Easter and I tell lots of people about it and I say Yes, it's going to be good. It may be a classical work they're already familiar with. And I go ahead and throw in there, and we're going to have live instruments because I think that is such a treat. Well, telling the story of Christ or being able to share with others, and to me, I'm not sure I'm always the one that's open and sharing, but I feel like if I can show it, when it comes back to someone to say, well, she wasn't all that upset. What was up with that? I was able to be calm because I have Christ with me. I know it's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. And if you keep that with your mindset, you can share that with others and they can see how you react and know they don't have to be as scared or concerned about some things that are they are facing. But I, I just want like more people to come and like just hear about Jesus and you know, make a decision after that whether they want to uh, dive into that or not. But I feel like it's really important for everyone to get the opportunity to know Jesus. Witness is, uh, is really opportunistic in my perspective. It started when I was young. I did bring somebody to the Lord. <laughs> Never forget. Never forget. It's a wonderful feeling. And opportunities have come up since then. You never know exactly what's going to happen. Not everybody wants to kneel down and accept the Lord right away, but you've provided and opened the door. You know, being a witness for what God has provided to me is the most important thing we do. It's the Great Commission, as, as it's said in Scripture. And so, for me, it's not about joining a membership. It's not saying, I'm greater than you, you ought to be part of what I am. It's about sharing what God has done in my life and the, the opportunities he's provided me to see his great wealth for me, wealth being everything from financial to the joy that life is. And so when you share what joy is from a Christian standpoint, it can't help but draw people to you. And so. Witnessing is hard, but if you take it as the mindset of, I'm going to be a witness, that's what makes it hard. It's a matter of, what has God done for me, and what can God do possibly for you? And that's what I share with my witnesses.